On this episode of Superior Angling TV, we head to the Brainerd Lakes area to target walleyes on Pelican Lake. A recent heavy snowfall has made for tough fishing conditions, snow, slush, winds, and cold temps. However, luckily for us, there are plenty of walleyes to be caught in this what we would consider a relatively disregarded and overlooked fishery, especially in the winter times. Season 7 of Superior Angling TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. I fish pros in the water. It uh, literally feels like we're in the depths of, of the Canadian wilderness right now, but we're literally right here on Pelican Lake out of Breezy Point <laughs> in the Brainerd area. I mean, it's it's crazy to think. These are, these are challenging conditions. There's a ton of snow, quite a bit of slush, windy, cold, but uh, hey, that's what ice fishing's all about, right? It's not always 30 degrees and sunny so uh, we kind of have our work cut out a little bit for us in terms of the conditions like we the skidoos were put to the test this morning like dragging all the camera gear and all the weight of those of the houses through this snow and slush but we made it out here it's a pretty big body of water right like there and there's a ton of just gorgeous walleye structure right now we're set up on kind of a, a pinch point surrounded by some shallower water it's kind of a little a little bit of a, a of a trough there set up in 14 15 16 feet so yeah, we're hoping that's gonna that's gonna be the ticket right away in the morning. I know a lot of these lakes over here are kind of known for uh, uh, an evening bite just due to their super clear water. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll let Hayes talk a little bit more about that. He's uh, a, a little bit more in tune. He's kind of the the local expert over here. So yeah, we, we're hoping these iFish pros are gonna start popping, and we're gonna do a little bit of jigging, and hopefully we're gonna see a couple of gorgeous walleyes on top of the ice today. But what a what a winter wonderland up here. I mean just. Just two days ago, I mean, a foot, a uh, foot and a half of snow, like there's on top of six, seven, eight, nine inches of ice, right? Like that's kind of a, that's, that's a, you know, <laughs> that'll account for a, a lot of slush to, to come. So it's going to be a, an interesting rest of the rest of the year, but uh, yeah, whenever we're making, we're making do with it and hopefully we're going to see a couple of fish stick with us. It's going to be good. Enough. So we're out here on Pelican Lake, um, just north of Brainerd. And um, this is a really unique body of water. Uh, very, very clear lake, a lot of uh, deep weed growth, big expansive weed flats. And so this morning we're kind of set up on uh, one of those weed flats, surrounded by some uh, deeper holes in front of us and behind us. So we're just kind of waiting for these fish to pull up in here. Uh, we've got some tip up set out, we're going to do some jigging. Um, but. They stocked uh, this lake real hard with a, a lot of fingerling and fry, both um, private and the DNR uh, made a very uh, good effort at stocking the lake with uh, fish. And so in the last few years, we've seen an uptick in um, both numbers and size of the walleyes in here. I, I remember five or six years ago, this lake was um, pretty empty. There wasn't a lot in it. So the DNR's done a good job with it. Um, and hopefully we can showcase it and show you guys uh, what Pelican Lake is all about. Got him. Sweet. That feels like a good fish too. That feels like a good fish too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. I love it. On that Northern Buckshot Spoon. Bright pink. Heck yeah, man. Look at that. That's a gorgeous Pelican Lake walleye on a bright pink Northern Buckshot Spoon tipped with the minnow head, and that's the way to start our morning. What a fish, huh? That's an awesome fish. Wow, gorgeous, solid. 18 incher probably, chunky too, huh? 
he just came in like I saw him right away he went back down came up and just clobbered it so that's a sign of active aggressive fish right at about sunrise it's super cloudy right now but sunrise is probably right about now and that's when your fish are by far the most active the most aggressive and we uh we're definitely in the right place at the right time for that one that's a gorgeous walleye let's get her back there she goes beautiful beautiful like you said with all these eye fish pros you kind of expect those to go off just because for walleye fishing you know like it seems like those work so much better than uh than jigging but man like if a walleye can see a bright bait down there such as this northland buckshot rattle spoon that's bright pink again this water is like gin clear super super clear and uh a bait like this number one just stands out in terms of color and number two makes noise down there so Sometimes that's what it takes, and a, a fish would prefer this over a live minnow swimming down there. But you know, that changes hourly, it changes every 20 minutes what, what fish want. So, it pays to be jigging, have some tip ups out as well. Awesome. I know I, I knew I heard something. So, I was just jigging about 20 feet away, and you know, these eye fish pros are awesome. You hear them, heard this thing go off. So, we're gonna see what's, what's going on here, see if we got one. Feels like it. Oh, yeah. Got him. That's a big fish. Yeah, it feels really nice. We're in a little bit of weeds, so yeah, this thing's really heavy. I just got to the bobber stop, so I took a, a decent amount of line out. Um, oh yeah, nice walleye, I just saw him. Sweet, dandy, chunky. That's what Pelican Lake is about right there, about an 18 incher. Absolutely inhaled that uh, golden shiner. Interestingly enough, we've been running all types of minnows this year on these tip ups, but the, the shiners have really outproduced any other minnow. So we're going to get this thing unhooked and get it back in the water and get the iFish Pro reset. There she goes. Super nice walleye. So um, on this particular tip up, we had about a three or four inch golden shiner. And as I said before, those minnows have been working um, better than anything else. The only thing I can, the only reason I guess I can think why that would be is these lakes are filled with small, uh, you know, juvenile tulipy. And, uh, you know, I feel like that is a, is a forage base um, for these walleyes. Um, you know, in the fall, those two will become in shallow, and I think they do linger um, in these areas, uh, you know, underneath the ice. And so I think, and you know, they're eating shiners, they're eating perch, they're eating all sorts of things, but those juvenile tulipy is probably the reason why, um, you know, they eat that golden shiner so well. One thing to really keep in mind on clear bodies of water, like we're on here on, on Pelican Lake, is jig up off the bottom. You know, we're, we're in 15 feet of water, we're jigging two, three, four feet above. Like these fish can see so far, you know, especially during your peak times, that hour in the morning, hour in the evening, jig up high. This those fish can see it from a, a greater distance. And I just think it, they're more inclined to really come in and, and smoke your bait. So that last tip up that Hayes had, that was up there, you know, three feet off bottom. So um, we're really putting these baits up higher. If you're fishing a, a, a stained body of water or a river system, you know, the general rule of thumb is the more dirty the water, the lower I'm gonna drop my baits. The uh, clearer the water, the higher I'm gonna bring them up. That's for jigging rods and for and for your set lines, so. All right, it is it is time to do a little bit of, of movement as we approach that nine to 9.30 hour. Like our peak morning bite is, is, is definitely gone, right? You're talking sun up to about 9 a.m. But after that, we, uh, we want to move and kind of do a little bit more run and gun style fishing until it's about two o'clock. So um, as you look on our Markham MX-7 here, you know, these can take a, a late contour chip. So um, Pelican Lake here has tons and tons of great looking structure. That's the nice part about clear bodies of water. Most often they have good defined structure. So kind of what we set up here in this morning was a more like subtle kind of saddle structure. But now we're gonna go fish more defined structure where it really drops off to to kind of basin right um you know as, as midday kind of sets in those fish in my mind you know your walleyes are going to kind of slowly 
and pull off to the sides and sit on that more defined steeper structure so we can see a lot of great looking points here that kind of stick out and it's you know it comes up 15 16 17 feet and it goes down to basin in you know mid 20s so that's kind of the stuff that we want to fish we're going to hop on our skidoos here again we can be very very mobile with our snowmobile rack here from electroforge we can put our augers on here we have rod holders we can throw our grass in this bucket and we can be gone right and this just allows you to be very very mobile we don't have to pack rods up and put them back in rod cases stick them right here we're gone right so we're just going to do a lot of hole hopping a lot of jumping around and deal with these snowy and slushy conditions let's get after it so it's mid-morning now and we've decided to, to make a move and what we've moved to here is kind of um, a steeper break line. Um, in low light periods we do like to fish those larger flat areas with weeds. Um, these are, there's a lot of steep breaks in Pelican Lake to choose from. Um, I like to, to pick ones that are, have uh, you know, unique features around them, whether that's a point, an inside turn, whatever it is, something to kind of, uh, the fish are kind of glued to. Uh, prime time, but this is a kind of a, a steep break in between a point and a big inside turn. So we're going to give this a shot. The nice thing about the break is you can, you know, get out in 25 and then get all the way up into 17, 16, 17 pretty quickly. Um, so we're just going to run through a couple areas like this midday, see what we can pick up, and uh, hopefully be back with this shortly. There's a flag, man. The amount of snow and slush out here is absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Yeah, there's some weight there. There's some weight there. Boom. Fish on. Fish on, buddy. Awesome. This is that midday bite that we hope for. Is he in the weeds? Yeah, that's what he was stuck on. Yeah, so and that's kind of the key to everything right now. We, yeah, we're just being in and around the, the cabbage and stuff. There's so much, like, we have our Markham underwater camera down there and you can just see these tall standing weeds, right? And those weeds kind of give shelter, they give protection to your bait fish. And you're, like, we're talking tulip bees and perch. It's just a huge, what do we got there? How much you get your hands wet and dirty? Nice 16 incher. Yeah, great eater. Gorgeous fish, but man, he choked that treble hook. It's, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Yep. He most certainly wanted it. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the hemostats for him, but yeah, that's not a bad fish, man. Not gorgeous. a bad fish. Yep. But again, our there's so much bait fish down there in terms of perch, like like two, three, four, five inch perch. They are absolutely everywhere, and you know that's a primary forage base for for these walleyes. So find your weeds, and you're gonna find your walleye. So not a bad midday fish. Like we'll take that any day of the the week, especially under these kind of brutal conditions. Wind, snow, slush, like we have it all going on right now, but we also have some gorgeous walleyes hitting the top of the ice. Let's get this thing unhooked and he might be hitting the dinner pan. Yeah, he That's is. Gone. That's gone. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so bait that we're gonna kind of be switching back and forth with, this is the Northland Glass Buckshot. Great new bait for this year. Um, you know, it's, to me, it's just kind of a confidence bait. It hangs vertically, one nice treble hook on there. I feel like hookup percentage on this bait is, is very good, right? If you have a fish come in, like chances are you're gonna, you're gonna ice that fish if he you, if you, if, if you does hit. So um, other baits, you know, we were making noise with some Northland Ripping Shads, but you know, just number one noise. Number two, I love bright colors down there. So that jigging fish we had this morning, bright pink, you know, bright, Bright greens, anything, anything bright that stands out and make noise, you can never go wrong. So yeah, we, we're staying optimistic for a good evening, evening bite here. These lakes are just known to be evening lakes with with these clear waters, and it just always seems like evenings are, are better than mornings over here in the in the Brainerd area. So we're staying optimistic, and hopefully we're going to see some great fish. He hit that good once he committed. It's just all about being adjacent to these weeds, finding those bait fish, and you're gonna find your walleyes, especially during prime time here. Look at that. Nice 16, 17 incher on the glass buckshot jig from Northland, making noise down there, standing out, being bright, being vibrant. 
and that's a quality walleye. Skinnier fish. Some of those we saw this morning were super chunky. That's a little bit skinnier of a fish, but hey, not a bad walleye at all, especially under difficult conditions like these. Prime time right now. It's fast-paced action. These walleyes are pushing up into shallow water and taking advantage of any and all bait that they can see. And that's another walleye for us. This is pretty, a pretty cool bite right here. Essentially, and you know, right in the right in Brainerd, right next to the resort. So many people around here, and just to have this caliber of fishing is uh, is pretty cool. Let's rebait this glass north and buckshot jig and get back down there. The line was just running there. There she is. Feels like another one of those eater sized fish. Pretty shallow. I think we got this. Uh, tip up up in about 12 and a half foot of water feeling like well another one of those kind of cookie cutter eater size fish that's really what uh, what pelican lake is known for there's a lot of fish this size in here spent a lot of time guiding out here this summer and uh, getting fish like this for the clients um, makes for a good day um, you know so if you're you're in the area and looking for for fast paced action uh, pelican lake is the place to come so we're going to get this guy unhooked drop him back in the water and, and keep fishing here so fish Glass buck shots, baby. They are working tonight. Again, it's just like, are you gonna fish to hit them? Like I have a hundred, not a hundred, but I have high, high confidence. I'm gonna get that fish topside. I don't wanna take my glove off because it's getting pretty cold, but another gorgeous walleye. Isn't that average size out here? Just, it's pretty incredible. Like we're not seeing tiny 12 to 15 inch fish. Like these are just solid 16 to 18, 19s. Like every single one of them too. Look at that, yeah, awesome, gorgeous. Another gorgeous walleye. Like it's prime time and this is fast paced action. I mean, it's it's crazy how good this fishing is for right here in Brainerd, surrounded by all these houses, all these people, right? And we have this pretty incredible resource all to ourselves. Jigging up here, 15, 17 feet of water. That sun's going down. And these walleyes are putting the feed bag on, man. I mean, they're just coming up here in groups. Like when you see them on a graph, like you'll have one fish hit you and you'll see another one with it. So like they're up here in pairs, three, four, five fish, and they just cruise these shallower flat areas that we're on right now and pretty much eat anything and everything in sight. So whether it's an iFish Pro or a glass Northland Buckshot, they're eating them. All right, we got a flag here. Let me get this out here. This was a really big shiner on this iFish Pro. We've been waiting all night for this one to go off, so we're really hoping it's something pretty decent here. Load that tip up. There he is. That's a heavy fish there. That's a heavy fish. Just dead weight. Just dead weight. Oh, look at those head shakes. Big head shakes. We've been fishing all day long with these iFish Pros and jigging. We've had some really good action here right at last light. And now we're seeing a couple of bigger fish. Ooh, this is a good fish. We've got light line on these iFish Pro rides. I think we've got six pound test because we've got really clear water out here on Pelican. This is a heavy fish. This is just, this is just weight. Oh, that's a stud, boys. That is a stud, an absolute stud. That thing, that thing is big. It's got a huge noggin on him, big belly. He's just battling right at the bottom of the hole. He's just diving right at the hole. Of course, right after sunset is when we get the, the big bite. Oh, that's a, that's a stud. They're all wrapped up. I'm gonna have to go in after them. Ah, we got them, boys. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. 
Wow, that is all of at least 25 inches. And he battled me hard on that light line and that dead eye rod from St. Croix. Are you kidding me? Look at that fish. Beautiful golden walleye on Pelican. That is a stud, he's all perked up. Wow, that is awesome, what a fish. What a fish, what a memory. Let's get this one back. Tip up. It's been a little bit. We, we're getting some fish jigging, but this just went off. You Oop. got him. Drag was a little loose. I got him though. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that nice. feels heavy, dude. That looks like a good one, buddy. Right at sunset, man. What, uh, what a day. I just cannot believe the sheer number of bites and the sheer number Ooh. of fish, and just quality fish at that. Like, Ooh. like we did not see like a four, 14 to 16 inch fish, right? Like everything's like 17 to 17 yeah. on up, right? Yeah, and I think this one here, uh, this is gonna be. That looks like a good one. This will be a little bit better here. That's a big fish, man. I mean, just what a fishery. It's just hard to, hard to describe the quality of this fishery. And you know, it's not like this every time you come out, but we were, we were blessed today. And this really shows the true potential of, of lakes just surrounded by people. But there's such good fishing to be had. I mean, you know all about it. You're out here year round. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't take, ooh. <laughs> I need to get my hands wet for you. Thank you, buddy. That'd be fantastic. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah, it is cold out here. How about him? Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fish. Yeah. That's a that's a studly 24. Oh yeah. All day. No doubt about it, dude. What a fish, man. Oh, posing for what you too. What a fish. That was on a little fathead. I mean, a little fathead shove. We ran out of shiners. That's, yeah. that's why it was down there. <laughs> it's been that kind of day. We ran out of shiners and this big girl bit. We got to get her unhooked and sent back down before her fins freeze here. But uh, from Hayes, Joey, and I, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.